Hello there, so this video was highly requested after my previous video a few weeks ago where I bought a bunch of cheap art supplies and tried them out and compared them to more expensive supplies. I was recommended this particular website by so many people telling me, oh you've got to try and buy some cheap art supplies from there and you know, test them out on camera. So that's what I'm doing today, I have bought rather a lot of art supplies. It took several weeks to come so I've completely forgotten what I've bought. So I'm going to open them on camera and just try them out as I go. Should be fun. But before I start, I would also like to mention that this video is being sponsored by Best Fiends. And I thought this was the perfect opportunity because they have a bunch of cool, cute creatures um, in their game. And I just thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of try out my art supplies by drawing some of the characters in the game. It's a really vibrant and artistically stunning visual game. Um, it's like a puzzle game. Basically, you collect these little fiends and then you try to destroy these evil slugs. They've also got the new in-app world premiere of the animated short called Visit Minutia, uh, which is where they're all from. And if you play the in-game called Visit Minutia, the event, you can win massive rewards. So if you want to give this a go, you can download the game for free using my link below, and you can also get $5 worth of gold and diamonds for free. Okay, so getting back to the supplies now, um, I again, I've forgotten completely what I bought, so this should be interesting. Ooh! Okay, so I bought a MBGI WAP Basics watercolour set. Hmm, this should be interesting. I'm actually excited to try this, and it looks like it comes with a brush as well. Okay, this next one, it kind of feels like it's like a pencil, like maybe a mechanical pencil. Oh, okay. This is just like my Stettler. Stettler, Steidler. How do you pronounce that, by the way? Stettler, Steidler. Mechanical pencil. It's my favourite thing in the world, and it looks just like it. I'm actually really excited to try this. These should be good. This is definitely like a pen. I love white gel pens. Um, this one is Chow, 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 Chow. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it basically looks like the white jelly roller pens. So I'm curious to see if these work just as well. Next up, we have another package with, what is in this? Okay, okay, so apparently these are Micron pens. They say Micron, they were super cheap. They look exactly like Micron pens, but I'm not sure if they actually are Micron pens. I don't, I don't think they're actual Micron pens, but I could be wrong. They might be perfectly fine. I do not know. Right, this is the last one. So this is just a basic little sketchbook with like tan paper. So I have never used tan paper before. Okay, so here we go. This is the cheap mechanical pencil um, and it comes with a bunch of lead refills, which is great because the lead refills on the expensive ones are like $12 a pack. Um, this is just me demonstrating that it's a piece of lead. Um, so there we go. This is comparing it to my Stettler one. The Stettler one is on the right. It's a lot heavier. It's not as plastic feeling and it looks kind of similar, to be honest. Um, feels the same really, except for the weight. It's just a little bit more weighted. Uh, but other than that, you know, it basically serves the same purpose. Now, this is me checking out my awesome new little sketchbook. Um, it has very thick, nice paper. I'm just giving it a little feel there. Now I'm just doing a little sketch of Quincy, the little character from the game I was talking about. He's very cute. Um, and I'm very impressed with this pencil so far, as you can tell. It's, you know, it's going pretty well. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm sketching, sketching. I was impressed. It was a very dark kind of lead. It worked really well. I could not tell any difference between my more expensive one, which as you can see here, is what I use for these faces, my Stettler one. They work the same, to be quite perfectly honest. It's just kind of a, a preference between what you you want, really, for your, your drawings. I then decided I'd just sort of give it a little go on white paper so you could see it better. And yeah, it, you know, it's, it's a pencil. It's, it's a pencil. Here's me talking about how cool this, this sketchbook is again because the paper is just so thick and it's got a really nice feel to it. It's very smooth, which is what you always want in a, in a sketchbook. Next up, we have these awesome Microns, which were so cheap. And yeah, look, I'm just really like, wow, these look like real Microns. Are they real Microns? I'm, you know, debating if they're real or not. Um, this is me comparing them, as you can see. 
they look they look the same and here's here's, here's a close-up shot wait for it there it is here's a nice close-up shot the one at the top is my real micron that i bought in michael's it's got paint all over it so you can tell that's mine the one below is exactly the same looking exactly even the barcodes are the same so it's they look exactly the same to me Here's me comparing the two. Um, these are both supposed to be the same size as the one at the bottom is my expensive one. And as you can see, the size is completely different, which was kind of disappointing and strange. Now, I wrote my name. The one at the bottom is the legitimate Micron that I bought very expensively. The one at the top is the cheaper one. I'm still confused at this point if they're real or not, but I'm guessing, you know, look how different the nibs look. They look so different. And here's just me just finishing off my little sketch with the cheap Microns. Now I'm just debating how real they actually are there's a nice lot they gave me double of everything i'm not sure if that was a deliberate um here's me later on realizing that one of them had leaked so that was that was good oh wait no no they they both leaked on me a huge amount of ink leaked all over brilliant next we have the white pen i absolutely love white pens most artists love them um i have a jelly roller here and this is what i'm comparing to the cheap one the cheap one was actually similar in sort of size and shape. It wasn't sort of saying it was the wrong, like the real one. Um, I was really impressed, to be honest. Look how vibrant the colour is. It worked just as well as the jelly roller and it was great. I mean, what can you say? It's a white pen. It, it works like a white pen. So 10 out of 10 for that. Next up, we have this MBGA WAP watercolor basic set i've never used watercolors in a tube before so this was new to me look it's got a little brush which i thought was very nice um i'm going to take my strathmore mixed media paper and just kind of use that for my watercolor because i love it and here's me procrastinating making the video and playing the game get on with the video chloe get on with the video right there we go okay so now i'm drawing another one of the characters in my little mixed media paper sketchbook so that I can then watercolour them later on. Still really impressed with this mechanical pencil, by the way. Really good. Now, watercolours are very, very good. The, I don't want to say pigmentation, because you know how I am with that word, but, you know, it was very vibrant. It was incredibly vibrant, and the colours mixed really well, which I was very impressed with. Um, I ended up sort of swatching all of the colours a bit later on, and they were all really impressive, so... This is a great little set if you're just beginning out with watercolours and they just work really well. They're so vibrant, I couldn't sort of get over it. And you've got a nice colour range there. So here's me just finishing it off with my Micron pen and my white pen and just basically having fun because this was, I was very impressed. The supplies were really, really good and I would recommend them highly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do let me know what your favourite thing was that I tried out today. Um, and if there's any more supplies or websites you'd like me to try next time, I would love to hear them. Also be sure to check out the Best Fiends game because it is so great and I've got a link in the description. It's free to download and you can get some goodies as well. So yes, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.